Okay, I hope this is recording, and I think it is. Don't mind my hair. I've been doing housework, um, and I figured I'm going to be doing a lot of things today at home because the kids get out of half a day. And um, so I haven't really done anything to my hair, which I never really do, but some days I do. This is last week I have been. Anyway, this video is going to be on the JW issue of Halloween. Well, actually holidays in general, but mostly Halloween because that is the upcoming holiday. I'm going to try to include some photos of my uh, jack-o'-lanterns. I allowed my kids this year to make jack-o'-lanterns. Um, last year we didn't. And the reason being is because of I felt that it was um, non-Christian. And a lot of people feel that way, that the holiday itself is non-Christian. As you know, I'm not the typical Christian. As an XJW, when you first get out, your first thing you want to do is, well, when I first got out, I didn't care. You know, I felt like I was going to be destroyed anyway. So, hey, why not party? Why not smoke? Why not drink and get drunk? Or drink and got drunk with another witness. But, you know, I was doing all these things and like, hey, y'all can have Christmas. Y'all can have every holiday. We even celebrate an Arbor Day. So, yeah, every holiday there was, we was going to celebrate it. We was going to get into it. You know, enjoy life while we can because Armageddon's going to be here any day and we're going to be destroyed. Um, but then, you know, my Christian values kicked in and I found um, a church family and I started to actually re-study the Bible. So you study it under Jehovah Witnesses rule, under their guidelines, you have one view of God. And he is a bastard who sent his son to die for a million people where there are trillions of people that's just going to die. And he can care less about them because we made his anger rage because we couldn't live up to his standards. And that God of the Jehovah Witnesses is, is going to kill everybody. And only a few people, you know, there's like about 8 million Jehovah Witnesses. And of those, let's say about two-thirds of them will make it. The rest of them, you know, they don't have the right heart condition or whatever. So anyway, <laughs> um, getting back to the whole issue. Um, when I first started celebrating holidays, Christmas was one of the first. Well, actually, we did Kwanzaa, and then we did a little bit of Christmas, just a little bit. We didn't actually have a Christmas tree. Then we added a small Christmas tree, and then last year we had a nice big Christmas tree. We even had a mural. We painted a mural on the wall. When you open the door in our house, we had a Christmas tree with presents underneath it, and we had our big Christmas tree in our living room next to the window. We did the lights on the outside. We did the whole thing. We did the whole Christmas thing. <laughs> Um, last year for Halloween, well, for the first Halloween we celebrated was two years ago. My kids, we made a few costumes that were, um, not too edgy, you know. My son is a gangster, but he didn't really have a gun. <laughs> he just had a suit on. <laughs> My daughter went as a fairy, but I didn't buy a fairy outfit. Um, I got her a, a, you know, a prom dress, and I kind of like decorated this a little bit, just slightly off, you know, just costume -ish. but at the same time, you can look at it and say, hey, but they just dressed up. <laughs> um, so last year, we went and um, we spent money, and we bought costumes. The kids got, they went, they had a lot of fun, you know, they went, um, my sons were like, uh, Transformers and my daughter was an actual fairy last year my other daughter was a ladybug my oldest daughter was a vampire and um, my son decided he was going as his self <laughs> this year my youngest um, is eight months and I purchased three costumes for him one is a he's a bat which is so cute and I think it would be really cute if his sister goes as a vampire so she have a vampire and a bat the other one is a skunk, which I bought it, and it's kind of, it's a boy costume, but it's kind of girly. And the other one is um, Bumblebee, the Transformer. My son, um, my oldest son wants to go as Doctor Who, so. Yeah, he keeps getting these costumes that we can just look in his closet and grab junk out. So, <laughs> I love that. Um. Wait, 
dog is looking at something. I'm not sure what's going on. Anyway, yeah, my cousin, I talked to my cousin last night. And, I, you know, my, all my kids haven't gotten their costumes together. But I talked to my cousin last night and, um, sorry, my dog was just staring at something from here. And she, like, watched this. I'm looking to see if there's a bug flying around or what, <laughs> you know. Anyway, I talked to my cousin last night and he was like, um, you know, he was talking about the new Bible, which I want to do a video on that too. But there's so many videos out there that people are making about it, and I haven't actually got the physical Bible. I've just been looking at it online. I'd rather have the physical body, Bible in my hand to have to get me a copy first. But, um, yeah, I was talking to my cousin last night, and he asked me, what is my opinion on Halloween? Well, I told him, you know, basically, it's not... Um, there are scriptures you can pull out that will condemn this holiday. In fact, condemn every holiday that is pagan. It has nothing to do with the holidays that the Israelites celebrate. And there are scriptures you can pull out that says that every day, you know, oh my God, I can't, my mind just went completely blank and I had the scripture right here. There are couples, there are a few scriptures out there um, that, point out that it doesn't matter, you know, these things doesn't matter, there's only one God, only one true God, you know, says worship no other gods, but it doesn't matter, um, and there, you know, every scripture there is, there is always going to be some speculation to it, you have to associate it with that, um, there are, you know, clear-cut scriptures of, about staying with the mediums and spiritists and um, those sacrificing your children. There are clear-cut scriptures about those things. There are not clear-cut scriptures about knocking on people's door and asking for candy or dressing up um, as whatever, you know. You don't want to dress up as a demon, really, but then again, really, you know, masquerading and other things it's not really no clear-cut scriptures and in the bible you're going to find that you know most of the time it is going to be speculative you have to draw your own conclusion um and a lot of christians and that's why a lot of churches now are trying to associate it with something positive something of the light my thing is i like that um i look at it like this there are two ways a false god it's homage or worship one is directly someone directly worshiping these gods of this holiday and they celebrating and worshiping or the second or the second way is that you fearing that holiday and avoiding these things and keeping that in mind that this belongs to that god the reason why you can't put a pumpkin on your porch is because it's supposed to scare off spirits or whatever well Pumpkins can grow anywhere, but, you know, it wouldn't have that meaning unless you put it to it. So, you know, you could put a pumpkin there for decoration if you want to cut it up and make different designs and stuff. If it's just for decoration, for fun, and you don't give it that spiritualistic explanation and giving honor to those gods, then by doing it, you know, you're avoiding it because you can't do this because of such and such and such. I, you know, most of the, to be honest, I don't even know what these, who these gods are, okay? And I've had the scriptures read to me um, by others at the Kingdom Hall, by um, family members who are, are Christians, because some of them are really against it, and I've watched videos. And if you have to read part of the scripture and stop, then you're twisting it, Okay. Let's read the whole scripture. If you stop because it gives you an explanation of sacrificing your children and you stop before you get to that, then obviously there's an issue. You're trying to prove your point and how you feel about it. So for us, Halloween is a fun day that we will be going to church, um, dressed up in fun costumes to not scare anybody, but just for fun. Um, I have pumpkins, I have scarecrows, those are fall items that we like. I usually have pumpkin, you know, my pumpkins on the porch. My kids wanted to make jack-o'-lanterns, and I figured, you know what, 
and not doing it to scare or ward off evil spirits. They're going and doing it because it's fun and they want to do it. And that's why they want to do it. Because you know what? If you don't give, if I, if these false gods would not exist if it wasn't for those remembering them, if it wasn't people worshiping them and people fearing them. And I'm, you're only supposed to fear Jehovah. You're not supposed to fear these false gods. Uh, it makes no sense to me. That's my take on it. That's how I feel. So that's why we're celebrating Halloween. My kids will be dressing up. I might dress up. We will be going from the church. Um, it's called Trunk or Treat. And uh, we'll be going to different churches. I have three in mind right now. Possibly going from door to door um, in our neighborhood. Because a lot of my neighbors are, um, things that they're giving out large, full-size candy bars this year. So my kids was like, yes, I can't wait. <laughs> and I'm sorry this video quality sucks because I'm using my webcam. Hopefully this comes out really well. So yeah, that's what we're doing this year. And I don't think it's unchristian. And then I you know, if I'm, we're going to avoid, if you're going to say it's pagan, let's avoid everything that's pagan. Christmas is pagan. Easter is pagan. Throwing rice at a wedding is pagan. Wearing a white dress is a pagan holiday, is a pagan tradition. The wedding ring is a freaking pagan tradition. Let's avoid all things that's pagan. If we're not going to do that, then why is it that you get to pick and choose what pagan things my family should or should not, you know, do? You know, if it's hurting your conscience, if it's hurting you, then don't do it. Don't try to condemn me and say that I'm stumbling brothers. I'm stumbling others because I'm doing it. You know, um, there are things there. People get stumbled by a lot of things. I stumbled a lot of people when I left the Jehovah Witnesses. There's no way in hell I'm going back. I'm sorry for cussing, but yeah, there's no way in hell, to be honest. I stumbled a lot of people because they felt like, why would you leave? You know, and I, a lot of people questioned it. They, um, I had a couple of friends come to me and say they questioned, you know, the beliefs just because I walked away and they thought I was so spiritually strong. And then I didn't walk away to go do, though, at the, in the beginning, I didn't do all those things. I just walked away. So, you know, it stumbled some people because I'm not a Jehovah Witness. It stumbled, you know, my cousins who weren't witnesses, they stopped questioning, like, why don't you go back, you know? Am I supposed to become or stay a Jehovah Witness because I may be stumbling people that may want to become witnesses? Can't please everybody. And the Bible knows that. God knows that. And, you know, I'm going to end this. It's 12 freaking minutes. Anyway, guys, I have a couple more videos I want to do. And um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.